I work in the Department of Diagnostic and Interventional Radiology of the University Clinic in Essen. Um, in our everyday work we do a lot of neuro um, imaging as well as a lot of oncologic imaging, some pediatric imaging and we also um, work in two other hospitals where, which are smaller hospitals so there we do also a lot of cardiac imaging but also the everyday work smaller hospitals have. So I think first of all we should say that pediatrics or children are no small adults. They um, have different body proportion, different diseases. They come to us with completely different experience and expectations. And they are, especially under the age of eight, not able to hold their breath and to stop moving. And so we often need anesthesia or sedation to get them to get good image quality in MR imaging. And anesthesia or sedation needs special staff, special facilities and time to get them through. So we should or we need image sequences that are motion insensitive and that can be used without anesthesia and sedation. I think looking a few years back, uh, parallel imaging was a good thing that we had because we could shorten the acquisition time. In former times we had to deal with sh longer acquisitions and for pediatrics it's, it's especially important to have a short examination. And then in the last years um, radial imaging techniques were very important because we get motion insensitive imaging and that helps us a lot in getting diagnostic images in pediatric radiology. The Starvate does give us a possibility to examine young children without having to sedate them and not having to give them any orders for breath holds, which makes it a lot easier to examine them. Because when they're young, they do go into an MRI without any sedation, but if you give them more orders than just to lay still, it just doesn't work. They start to be scared or they cannot hold their breath for a long time. And um, the Starvate just gives us a whole lot of information in uh, the images without having to do breath holds. When it comes to pediatric radiology, I think we use it for mostly everybody part. So head and neck imaging, cerebral imaging, abdominal MRIs, especially important as you need breath holds in this region. But it's not only pediatric radiology that we use it for. We have a lot of I'm a general radiologist, so even adults can profit from this examination type and we can use it really nearly in everybody's part.